Virus cycles is called autophagy. Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley, and today we're going to simplify the process of autophagy so it's a little easier to understand. Autophagy is a process that your body uses to degrade and recycle dysfunctional proteins and organelles into reusable building blocks. We've heard a lot about how the human body makes proteins, but it's equally important to know how your body degrades and recycles unwanted and dysfunctional proteins. This is accomplished in two primary ways, via proteasomes or via lysosomes. The second would be autophagy. Your body maintains proteostasis or balance of proteins by effective degradation and recycling of damaged proteins. Approximately 400 grams of protein are made and degraded every day in your body. The proteasome is responsible for degrading proteins quickly, allowing your body to rapidly up or down regulate cellular processes by increasing or decreasing quantities of specific proteins. About 80 to 90% of all proteins typically short-lived are broken down this way. Autophagy destruction via lysosomes is the other way for your body to break down proteins. This is a general term for any pathway that brings cytoplasmic materials to a lysosome to be destroyed. Autophagy can be triggered by prolonged starvation, exercise, or other physiologic stresses. If you go for several hours without eating, autophagy is activated. When energy stores are low, your cells will degrade non-essential proteins into amino acids, which can then be used as fuel for other purposes. Autophagy is responsible for degrading longer-lived proteins and can also break down microbes, organelles, aggregated proteins, you name it. Even if you're not fasting, autophagy is necessary for ensuring quality control of protein production in your body. So how does the process of autophagy work? First, in a low energy state, signaling proteins such as AMPK are turned on. AMPK activates specific autophagy related proteins. These are called ATG proteins for short, which then initiate the process. A double layered membrane starts to form around the unwanted protein. Once the membrane completely surrounds the dysfunctional protein, an autophagosome is formed. The autophagosome travels to a lysosome and merges with it. A lysosome is a bubble full of enzymes capable of breaking down a wide range of compounds inside the cell. When the autophagosome merges with the lysosome, the unwanted cargo is broken down into its components, whether that be peptides, carbohydrates, or nucleic acids. These building blocks are then released into the cytoplasm to be used for other purposes hence the recycling. Many interventions shown to slow aging in model organisms such as yeast, worms, and mice, either directly or indirectly increase autophagy in your body. Examples include dietary restriction and drugs such as rapamycin. Thank you for listening. I hope this is helpful for you.